it never fails. You receive the free ebook and get excited to read about the latest and best way to utilize social media posting for your business. You hungrily tear through the information and then rewrite your marketing plan to implement this new strategy only to receive entirely different information the next day, week, month, and so on. Fortunately, there is a light at the end of the tunnel thanks to CoSchedule. In their great wisdom, they've put together information from a variety of reports to provide you with the last word in social media post scheduling. We learned in school that there are four time zones in the U.S., so with clients spread from C to C, what are the best times to post on the various social media platforms? To decide this, we need to take into consideration where most of these clients are living. According to census records, 80% of those people living in the United States are found in the Eastern and Central time zones. It would make sense then to focus our schedules on time as it is followed in these locations. Facebook. As a platform that brought social media into the spotlight and taught us a new way to communicate and market ourselves and our businesses, it's still the first account most new businesses and 13-year-olds open when getting started in the social media universe. The best days are Sunday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, with the best times being at 9 a.m., 1 p.m., and 3 p.m. Posting at 1 p.m. gets you the most shares, while posting at 3 p.m. gets you the most clicks. For Twitter, the best day is Wednesday, with the best times at noon, 3 p.m., 5 p.m., and 6 p.m. Wednesday about noon and between 5 and 6 are the peak moments of an employee's break times. Also, Twitter users are apparently 181% more likely to be on their account during the commute home. Hopefully for the rest of us, this refers to carpoolers who are not in the driver's seat. LinkedIn, the best days are Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, with the best times being between 7 and 8 p.m., noon, and 5 to 6 p.m. Business people are more likely to peruse LinkedIn in the morning in the same manner most of us used to peruse the paper. Also, even though LinkedIn is geared more for the business market, the best time to post is still before or after work. For Pinterest, the best days are weekends, usually Saturday and Sunday, at 2 p.m., 9 p.m., and 2 a.m. The very best window for posting is Saturday nights between 8 p.m. and 11 p.m. The worst time is during typical business hours. The best times to post on Instagram are on Monday and Thursday. The best times are 2 a.m., 8 to 9 a.m., and 5 p.m. Avoid posting between 3 p.m. and 4 p.m. Posting a video at 9 p.m. can get you 34% more interactions. For Google+, the best day to post is Wednesday, with the best times being at 9 a.m., 11 a.m., and 12 to 1 p.m. 90% of the people on Google+, are lurkers, people who are just looking and not wanting or perhaps not ready to engage with the content or a call to action. Looking for an even simpler schedule to follow while engaging within all six platforms? Here you go. On Sunday, Facebook and Twitter. On Tuesday, LinkedIn and Twitter. On Wednesday, Google Plus and Twitter. On Thursday, Instagram and Twitter. And on Saturday, Pinterest and Twitter. As shown, Twitter can be effective every day of the week. Just remember to consider the audience you're trying most to engage with. Additional notes for each platform. Facebook is widely used both via mobile and stationary devices at home and at work. Twitter is audience dependent as Facebook is as well. Often set up as an RSS feed and visited during commutes, breaks, and other downtimes. Pinterest is used mostly in the evenings after work and on the weekends during a viewer's free time. LinkedIn is designed for the professional world, so viewers use it during work hours and in the mornings. Google Plus targets professionals in a similar manner to LinkedIn and Instagram is designed for the mobile platform and therefore used at any time. Now that you know when the optimal posting times are for each major social media platform, here are a few tips on how best to implement and maintain your online marketing. Keep your posting times consistent across the board. Find the areas that work best for your audience and focus on them first. Use analytic services to track your data and determine when your audience is online. So, a special thank you goes out to CoSchedule for their tireless efforts to make scheduling social media posts across all platforms as easy as pie, or in their case, as easy as following an infographic. You can also remove the guesswork by using the best time scheduling in CoSchedule. For this and more information on their services, visit them at coschedule.com.